Hello, this is Brio of uh, Brio Shoot Productions, and today I'm going to show you some of the basic mouse controls in Swift 3D. So let's say you have an animation here, and you're wanting to actually move the camera around um, using your mouse instead of having to uh, make a default target camera and doing it that way. So basically what I do is I just press Alt, and then I either right-click or left-click to move the camera around. So by using the left click, I can move on the x-axis like I am showing you right here, just basically clicking and dragging. And if I want to zoom in and out, I just do the right click while holding Alt. And that will allow me to zoom in and zoom out. And that way you're able to work with your animation. You know, if you're wanting to focus on a certain character or object, you can move the camera towards them. And then when you're done working with them, you can just move the camera over here and do some finer detailed work. Like, you know, let's say I want to move um, my glasses there, 3D glasses. I want to move those out of the picture or something like that. Well, now I'm able to actually pick them up. Oh, well, if I pull that out of the scene. There we go. I'm actually able to fine tune where I want those. Instead of having to, you know, try to move them from this distance where it's not going to be as accurate. You know, I'm not going to be able to set those right in the exact center. Well, now I just totally messed up my scene. <laughs> but you get the idea. It's, it, it helps you work on it better. But that's just basically what I do for that. Um, there's a little bit of a difference when you're working with the default target camera. And if you're old, using an older version of Swift, it's called uh, Perspective. It's pretty much just like working with the ball thing down here. Um, you pretty much just click Alt, left click, and then just pretty much drag it around, and you can rotate it that way. And if you go outside of this little circle right here, it'll pretty much just tilt it on the axis. So within here, you're doing the 360 degree view, and out here, you're just rotating the camera. And it pretty much just works just like the uh, default target camera. See, there's your... Uh, target right there and it just revolves around that and if you're wanting to move that you just click right on it and drag it out to wherever you're wanting to go and now it will actually revolve around that point now the same thing works in the advanced modeler uh, if you were to go in here you would just move that around using alt and the left click or alt and the right click to zoom in and out and then here's your default target camera, which was just like we were using before. You would just click and drag this to wherever you're wanting to go. Zoom in, zoom out using the Alt left click and Alt right click. And then you would be able to set your uh, pivot positions this way. See, there's all the pivot positions for all the uh, objects I have in there. So if I was wanting to go to pretty much here, to move that pivot position, I would just say move independently, and then I can move the pivot position to wherever I want it to go. Like, let's say I wanted to move that all the way to the edge there. I would zoom in using the Alt and the right click to zoom in as close as I can, just so I could see the general area of where I want that pivot position to go. Just like I was showing it in the other movie before. And that's just basically it. Um, that was a key factor I forgot to have in the other movie, and I just wanted to make sure I got that out to everybody. And if you have any questions, just let me know, and I'll try to help you out in the best way I can. Thank you for watching.